I thought um, there's certain things I, I really liked. I thought we played hard. I thought we played fast. I thought we were physical, flew around, um, pursued the ball well, tackled well. Um, you know, some of those things were, were good. I think, you know, Illinois is obviously a pretty physical team that wants to try to run it. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like they didn't have a whole lot of success doing that. So, um, so there's a lot of things that I think are, are positives, but, you know, I guess the biggest takeaway at the end of the game is we didn't win. So, um, and, you know, quite honestly, they had some of their best success in the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, some of it, they made some really nice plays. Um, some of it was quite honestly, uh, you know, um, us not doing the, the job that we need to do. So, you know, uh, we didn't really execute a couple calls very well and, and it was just enough that they were able to make some plays on us. So, um, you know, most disappointing, I guess, that the Really, the last time they had the ball, they you know they end up kicking a field goal, but you know they had, I think they got like three first downs before they kicked the field goal and had some third and longs and just didn't quite didn't quite get off the field and, and with enough time for our offense to really really have a fighting chance. So um, you know, I'm happy with certain things, but again, this is a kind of a win or loss deal. So um, we didn't win, so you can't be you can you can feel good about a couple areas, but understand we gotta we gotta put it all together. With the, the defensive line specifically, just what would you like, maybe you're not there a little bit, but like what would you like about what you were able to see from that group and maybe some of the newer faces? Yeah, I thought I thought they were physical. I thought we got off the ball. I thought we got some good knockback. Um, Tommy Dunn really did a nice job in there, uh, um, you know, playing, playing the run and, and uh, particularly. So that was good to see. And um, again, I, I felt like the guys that were playing in there were um, – really holding our own more than holding our own sometimes and most of the time and um, you know so I, I think that was encouraging because obviously Illinois they're they got some pretty big dudes and said they're they're a pretty physical downhill kind of a team and and uh, we didn't we didn't that didn't seem to bother us too much at all so I think that's that's encouraging going forward. You mentioned Tommy there just how has he started this season like what have you seen from him over the first two games and do you feel like he's reaching a new level for yeah, himself. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I, um, you know, once in a while, uh, he's been a little bit inconsistent in his past. And um, I, I do think, though, he's, he's strung together some, um, some practices that you would say, hey, that's, this is real progress. And then the real test is get in the game and see what a guy can do. And he was, he was probably our best defensive, interior defensive player in there last week. So um, now we just, we, we got to keep going this way and not, you know, not, not, not have the dips in, in the road. But um, he's such a good kid. He's just, man, he's such a great kid. And so you just really want it for him. And I think he's, he's really hope, understanding better um, what he needs to do, which is just be that be more consistent in what he does. What have you thought so far about DJ Warner and his adaptation to the collegiate level? Well, I think the plays that he's played has been good. Um, you know, I, I don't know that we'd want to put him in there for 40 or 50 snaps a game right now. So he's been kind of in that 15 to 20 play range. And the plays that he's played, I think he's done a really nice job. Um, he's, 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 under, he's understanding the defense better. So, you know, not really making some of the mistakes that he maybe once had made just in terms of, I don't know what the guy's going to do. Um, I think he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's playing pretty physical. I think the, the one play, you know, he ended up, I think, missing a, missing a sack, maybe one time missed a tackle on the sack, but, you know, he really shows what he can do. He's, he's fast and he's a good athlete and he's long and he's got good instincts for that stuff. So, um, you know, we just need to keep, keep bringing him along in a, you know, in a way where, where he can have, um, you know, kind of more or less like small doses of, of success at a time and then we'll see what happens in the future you know whether that becomes more or not but he keeps playing the way he's playing it's it gets harder and harder not to not to want to play a guy a little bit more too we talked a lot about marvin playing the kind of that cinco role what did you see from him on saturday in that spot he well he made some good plays um obviously he saw some of those plays um if you ask him i think he would probably tell you that he needs to be more consistent in what he's doing also we had probably some couple assignment errors that would be uncharacteristic of him that things we should, you know, he knows and we, we should know. And so, but he does everything at a high rate of speed. So, you know, he might make an error 
but it gets covered up by just you know playing really fast and and you know quarterback doesn't have time to maybe react and see something because you know, just out of time to do it right so if you're going to make mistakes you make mistakes at 100 miles an hour but uh mar's been a you know a, a pretty consistent player so um and i know he he's a high effort guy and he's our most physical player back there so uh, we certainly count on him for a lot of things and um again um nobody plays a perfect game and um, nobody calls a perfect game be included so everybody's everybody's going to have their moments but um you know, again, just just keep playing at a high rate of speed and, and reduce the moments going forward that we make mistakes, and and he'll be he'll be a great player. Brian, you and he's got a new quarterback this year. What have you seen from him? Yeah, I think he's pretty good. Um, I you know, I quite honestly, he's not like the maybe the thrower the guy was last year, but he does everything else that that guy maybe didn't do. So I. They're probably a more complete offense of how they probably really want to function with this with this guy at um, at quarterback because um, he's he runs he scrambles he can you know probably they feel more comfortable him running some option plays and just some designed quarterback run things which they probably didn't do with the guy last year and I think they're a they're a get the ball out quick RPO throw um, play action pass naked passes things like that. I don't, I mean, he's, he's probably not his, I don't think they want to be like just a drop back throw team, um, but um, he does really everything else for them. And not that he can't throw either, because he's, he's really made some nice throws too, like on um, the run kind of throws and putting it on a dime. So, um, you know, he's, I was worried about the guy last year, but in, in certain ways, and you know, this guy's, this guy's got, his, brings his own set of worries to, to, to us. So um, I think they're, obviously they've scored, 70 some points, you know, and beat a beat Houston from our league. So in the other game, so they're they're a, I think they're a, a better offense than they probably were last year, and they've got some of those pieces back that we know about, and then you had uh, players like the, the new quarterback, and and they're they're going to be a big handful. What's it like preparing for a team when you're playing them basically two times in four games? Yeah, well, you know, you want to you want to know what worked for you, and. Uh, but yet, you know, you don't you don't always want to be exactly the same either, right? Because you know, some things are gonna there. If we surprise them with anything, they wouldn't be surprised. Now they'd have time to you know to see it and prepare for it. So it's trying to find that right mix of you know what do, what do we what what can we do, right? And uh, some 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 things you do, you just you're gonna do them every week, and you're just gonna you're gonna do them. So um, there's other things that you kind of want to. A little bit more of this, a little bit less of this. So we're, you know, it's trying to figure that out. And as we get going towards game time, uh, we might have these this many things right now. But by game time, we'll be narrowed down a little bit to a smaller number of things that we're going to do. And and uh, you know, um, whatever we do, we just we got to execute our plan our plan well. And they've got a pretty tricky offense. They they got a lot of stuff going on back there on offense. And you gotta you better keep your eye on your work and not just get caught staring in the backfield or, or you're going to be in trouble. So um, uh, those are things that we're really, you know, talking about as much as anything is uh, we got to really be locked into to assignment and, and eyes. And so if we can do that, we'll hopefully be all right. But they're, they're going to they're bring a big challenge. Cornell Wheeler had a lot of flash plays, but he was also really visible in terms of directing guys, getting them in the right gaps and everything. I know that was something you talked about in the preseason, how – you had to kind of replace some of that with Rich Miller. How has he done in that aspect? Yeah, Cornell's been excellent, and that was that was a really strong game that he played, and he did have you know he had a number of tackles and tackles for loss, but yeah, his, he's flying around and like fitting where he should, and and uh, you know being being part of a lot of plays. But you're you're right. The other part is he's did a really nice job of just directing directing everybody up there, and um, you know, we don't have I don't know that we don't we try not to have. To put too much on anybody's plate in terms of a million and one different checks and different stuff, but the things there always needs to be communication, and he was he's on top of it, and um, you know, and again he just he, he's fast and he's a good athlete and he sees things, and so when you he's he's starting to become the the total package at at that middle linebacker spot, which again was pretty exciting for all of us. Anything else for Chris Borland? 